If karma was a person dishing it out on a silver platter, this woman's husband, well, his name is karma. Things that I don't do as a married woman. You go, girl. Number one, I do not cook for my husband. I only cook for my children. My husband will be making his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay. Number two, I do not help him pay any bills. So if he is short on the rent, on utilities, or anything like that, it is not my problem. I will not be helping him out. Where you live? His job is to provide for his family, so I am not financially contributing to any of the bills. Number three, I do not do his laundry. Well, that was a choice. Not only are you not doing essential partnership types of things with your husband, you're also going online and, like, bragging about it, making him look stupid. Yes, every relationship is different. My marriage is like a partnership. It's not even 50-50. It's 100-100. We're all in all the time. We are either going to succeed or we are going to fail, but we're going to do it together. I wonder how this whole thing worked out for her. I've been crying all morning long. My husband told me that I needed to pack my stuff and get out the house. You don't say. My bag. And I'm about to start packing. I literally have nowhere to go. <laughs> a few things that I don't do. As <laughs> that husband really said, not my problem. That's just not my problem. What do you mean your husband can make his own breakfast, lunch, and dinner? You only cook for the kids. Does that mean like you, you at night make like a big pot of chili and then when your husband comes to have some, you slap his hand and say, uh-uh, you can make your own damn dinner. Like, what kind of wife are you? So just what was she contributing to the marriage? Like sex and a nanny? I'm confused. You just sound like a glorified nanny, you know? And what's crazy is you know that there are women in the comments being like, why are you leaving? That's your house. He should leave. You should keep the kid. I'll be taking delusion for 1,000, Alex. I really love what JD said when he said like, if we're struggling, we're struggling together. And if we're prospering, we're prospering together. Like I'm glad that that husband kicked her out because what are you contributing other than just a bucket load of stress? And it's basically just like living with another mother. You want him to pay all of the bills because that's his job. But then your job isn't to like provide for your husband within the home. I'm really confused. If the woman was paying all the bills, it would be fucking astounding if a man would have the balls to be like, I don't cook for my wife. It's her job to provide for the family. What? She didn't want a partnership. She wanted a free ride in life. And well, life doesn't work like that. So wake up, baby girl. You just, uh, you just got served a reality check. Who should he make the name out to? Thank you.